And we are lucky enough to have it in our direct from Tokyo a big welcome, Whitney Houston. <laughs> Hi Whitney, how are you? That was just sorry. The uh, that was just the applause there. Now, can can um, I can I just ask you? You've got nicknames Nippy. Yes. Wit. Yes. Lizzie. Yes. How did they originate? Well, they they all derive from my name. Um, well, Nippy is a nick nickname that my father gave me. Uh huh. Um, wit is you know derived from Whitney. Yep. Um, Lizzie is, is my middle name, which is Elizabeth, so they all are part of me. Uh -huh. Is it true your mother was uh, watching a soap opera on the telly and Whitney was one of the characters and that's why she called you Whitney? No, she, she liked the name of a, a certain actress, her name was Whitney Blake, mm -hmm. and she loved the name, so she named me Whitney. She was an actress. What, uh, what can I call you? <laughs> Miss Houston. <laughs> Well, you can call me Whitney. Oh, that's thank okay. You. Thank you. And are you in Tokyo? You're in Tokyo at the moment. Do I detect a slight cold? Yes, you do detect a slight cold. I, I well, like I told you, I've been having a, a bit of problem, with mm. the vocal cords. Um, the flying and and the weather change and you know different things um, often affect your vocal cords and um, you know just having a bit of a problem with that. But otherwise, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Does it affect your singing uh, in any dramatic way? No, not really. Um, you know, you, you take precautions, you do what you, you have to do to make sure that, you know, you protect yourself. Um, but, you know, basically, I still have my voice. And a fine voice it is. I must say, I'm biased because I, you. I am one of your greatest fans in the world. Thank you so much. In fact, at, uh, at my wedding, uh, your song, Saving All My Love For You, was the bridal waltz. Uh, was it? Yeah, it was a toss-up between that and it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. But we went with... <laughs> no, it was. It was uh, saving all my love for you. And uh, it, it brings back a lot of fond memories whenever we're... Oh, that's very nice. Whenever we're throwing plates, I, um, I blame you, Whitney. Um, <laughs> have you ever thought of recording a gospel album? Oh, yes. Absolutely. I'm going to definitely do that. Mm -hmm. And who are your favourite singers? My favourite singers? Um, I like, um, there's not many, I can tell you that. <laughs> there are not many. Um, well, I well, love, I love all the greats. I love Aretha. I love Gladys Stevie Knight. Wonder? I love, I love Stevie to death. Yeah. He's a great singer. A bunch. Singer. Um, huh? He's, he's a fantastic singer, isn't he? In fact, you've recently oh. recorded with him, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. We did some, some work together, which, um. I'll never forget. It was unforgettable. I mean, working with Stevie was one of the greatest moments, I think, of my career. Now, congratulations on the film deal, which is uh, terrific. You've just... Thank you. You've signed to do a film with Kevin Costner, who's the hottest thing in Hollywood, obviously, at the moment. Yeah, isn't that something? So tell us how that arose. Well, you know, it was one of those things that came about um, about a year ago. I got a call from Kevin... Um, well, first it was it was it was like word of mouth. He wanted to do a movie with me. Yeah. My agent called me and told me, and I said, Yeah, right, okay, sure. <laughs> what is a and practical joke or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's there was a script written about 15 years ago um, about a, a a rock star, pop star, um, and a bodyguard. Have you done any acting before? I have done a spot of acting. Um, it, it's a, um, it's something that I'd like to um, experience, you know, on a wider scale. You know. Well, you're jumping off the deep end. I mean, you couldn't do it any bigger. Kevin Costner, in a in. Yeah. Well, you know, this I know, I know. I told Kevin that you know he might be really asking for it, and he said, well, that he really believed that I could do it, and that <clears throat> he wouldn't do this film without me. So, I mean, what am I supposed to do, huh, Steve? Yeah, well, he approached me with the same sort of deal, Whitney, and I said, Kevin, just run with Whitney. What, um, what makes you angry? What makes Whitney Houston angry? What really pisses me off? That's yeah. exactly what I'm It would have to be... What about the press? Well, th no, they don't really make me angry anymore. 
And they used to, but not anymore. I laugh at them now. They're like the joke of the day. It's not a, an angry feeling anymore. It's more like, ha, 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 if they only really knew. <laughs> if they only really knew what? What should they really know? If they like? only really knew that what they're saying, you know, obviously, I know, is, is untrue. You know, a lot of it, a lot of it is based on hearsay, you know. But um, I know the truth, me and the particular you know that particular party if it be that you know yeah. another person or you know situation because most of what the press writes is sensationalism as you, you and i both know yeah they tend to focus on relationships too they love relationships yeah well you know they get off on it they need to get a life now you're a you're a big spender on uh, clothes i am do you spend a lot on clothes or um i don't know what is a lot what is a lot to you? Uh, do you buy, do you buy, say, would you buy a dress or, you know, an outfit a week? One, one outfit a week? One outfit a week? Yeah. Yeah, I might buy about five or six outfits a week. Yeah. That's but a one lot. one outfit's a I'd that's say a that's lot. a lot. I don't know. That's, for me, that's a lot. One outfit, one outfit a year is a lot for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's, what's a lot to me, you said? Yeah. A lot to me is, you know, like when I one time I walked into a store and I spent about about thirty thousand dollars just in one shot. You know, that's a lot in one day. Thirty grand. What did you buy? No, oh, I I don't really quite recall. I think it was <laughs> could have been clothes. It could have been jewelry. I love jewelry. Do you wear the clothes a lot? I mean, do you wear them often? Well, not, not every day the same thing. Um, that's now, why I buy five different outfits. <laughs> How often? I don't want to push you on this point, Whitney, but I want answers here. How often would you wear the same outfit? Roughly. <laughs> Roughly. <laughs> Roughly. Yeah. I, I'd wear the same outfit twice. Tops? Twice is the tops, yeah. That's I incredible. Would think so. three, times is, three times is pushing it, yeah. You should meet my wife. You'd get on like a house on fire. It's <laughs> incredible. It's been a great pleasure talking to you. I hope you're... Uh, I nice hope, talking to you too. I hope your throat gets better and great luck with the film. Thank you. It's a terrific opportunity and uh, I wish you all the luck that you deserve, which is immense. Thank you. Whitney Houston. Thank you very much. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with...